most anticipated rivalries in 2018. We've got the BMW M2 to my left, the Audi RS3 to my right. Both turbocharged cars, both impeccable, both under $120,000 Australian, and both are awesome cars to drive. Let me say it one more time, both are the biggest competitive cars out today. The cars that we all want, the cars that you want, and here they are. Which one drives better? Which one provides better features? Which one gives us a thrill to drive and a sense of occasion? That's what we're here to find out. But before doing so, we're gonna run you by the specs. We've got 400 horsepower, five cylinder motor here. Imagine a Huracan, the V10 engine cut in half and that's what you have. The five cylinder motor here with the turbocharger, zero to 100 in a claimed 3.8 seconds. Then to the left of it, we've got the BMW M2, one of the strongest competitors out there. The BMW features 375 horsepower, zero to 100 in a claimed 4.2 seconds. Tests have shown 4.1 seconds from this beast. Which one is better? How about we find out? Starting off with the RS3, you must all be familiar with it. You know from being a hatch, right? Well, this is a sedan version. We've got an awesome looking steering wheel. Reminds you of the Audi R8 slash Huracan, right? You've got Alcantara on the sides. Everything is within a hand's reach away. It's pretty awesome. The quality, the leather, Napa leather, so smooth. We've got the quilted seats here as well, exactly like the Huracan. Then over, if you go to the back, this car fortunately features four doors, so it's a sedan, and we've got five seats in total. Three here at the back, and this, is a really cool car for being a four-door car. It's one of the quickest small sedans out there. When you come over to the back, you can see that we have a full-size boot, so enough luggage space. And then when you go down here, you see tail pipes that are really, really big. Twin oval tail pipes, large in size. Overall, this car looks mean. We've got Nice big 19 inch rims at the rear. Red calipers, 19 inch rims up here at the front with, guess what, eight piston calipers. Now that's huge. Then over to the engine bay, the five cylinder that we all talk about, that Lamborghini Huracan. As you can see, one intake here looks very similar. Lamborghini Huracan cut in half, and that's what you have. So imagine this, Duplicate it, put it on that side. You've got a Huracan V10 engine in this car. But let's call it the Huracan five cylinder. Really cool car. Over to the BMW M2, the engine bay looks totally different. So we've got a bigger engine cover up on top, turbocharged motor, everything's hidden. It's a very clean looking engine bay. Now, if we look down at the rims, the 19 inch, six piston calipers up front. Then when we go over to the inside, we can see the differences. We've got two doors, not four doors. So it's a full coupe, nice thick steering wheel, traditional BMW M steering wheel, nice all in leather, very smooth. We've got grainy leather seats, so they're not Napa like the RS3. A bit more grain here, not as smooth. We've got rear seats, they can only fit four people in total. So two in the rear. But the little touches that this car has make it so sporty and so unique. Very different to the RS3. As you can tell, the interior is definitely sportier. Then over to the back, we've got a boot here, which is to me, bigger. So it's slightly deeper, but there's a lot more height here compared to the RS3. As you can see, you can see all our camera gear. It's here in the back. This is what sets us apart. But this is what both cars are. And both are just magnificent. It's time 
for the sound off. Let's see which one sounds better. horsepower 0 to 100 in only 3.6 seconds some tests but we can safely say 3.8 seconds although Audi claims 4.1 seconds and in comparison the BMW M2 with less power does it in 4.1 seconds okay my first impression sitting in this car is that it's technologically advanced we've got so many features navigation you can talk to the car it does anything that you want it'll take you anywhere that you want the telephone chargers it's got the air charger in the glove box it's unbelievable that's pretty cool it's located in the center console so easy to use and overall features are awesome it's got a lot more features than the BMW M2 and a lot more than the AM45 AMG but this car let's get back to its driving right now on the highway you put your foot down and this car just goes and it screams it screams it's kind of loud it's a five cylinder motor and it sounds exactly like a mini Huracan so imagine the Huracan a V10 this being a five cylinder car has the same motor cut in half half the cylinders of the Lamborghini Huracan we've got five cylinders here that scream and sound and pop and crackle exactly like the Huracan a lot of people comment and say that when I pass by they think it's a Huracan coming up to them and on the forums the Audi forums everybody talks about this car how it sounds like a Huracan it's just unbelievable and pretty much it nearly performs just as good isn't a Huracan 0 to 100 in 3.4 seconds this in 3.8 really really close it's only half the cylinders and pretty much a quarter the price this car is priced at $110,000 with a few options. This exact model here is $114,000 with every option. We've got the panoramic glass roof. We've got everything that you need to make this car a comfortable daily sports car they can use every day and it outperforms most supercars. Look at it this way. A Ferrari F430, 0 to 100 in 4.2 seconds. This car here, 3.8. A Ferrari 458, 0 to 100 in 3.5 seconds, this car 3.8, it's not far off, it's really really quick, it's definitely quicker than a lot of the olden times supercars, olden times meaning cars that are 5 years old and older, this is still a lot quicker. For instance, Guys have claimed this car here is stock standard. They've managed to do a quarter mile in 10 seconds. I'm talking about in the 10 seconds range, not exactly 10 seconds. <laughs> but the power and delivery in this car is unbelievable. Anywhere in the rev range at 3000 RPM right now, I can put my foot down and it just launches. No turbo lag, nothing whatsoever. It's so smooth, so linear, the power just kicks in, that power delivery is like nothing before. I've driven so many coupes, so many hatches, and in this small car range up to $110,000, this thing is unbelievable. So unbelievable in fact, that it's even quicker than the BMW M2 that you just saw drive past. This is that fast, it is really quick, and you don't feel any turbo lag at all. And the sound is so crisp. The gear shifts, the changes are unbelievably quick. This DSG dual clutch system gearbox is really, really tasteful and unbelievably insane. So much quicker than the BMW M2. I can change gears and you just don't know, you don't feel it. It is the smoothest gearbox I've ever, ever driven. In terms of comfort, this car has such lush seats. The seats are amazing. That quilted stitching is a very tasteful addition by Audi. And the seats, they just hug you, you sit in them. They're just so lush right now. And everything 
is in a hands reach away you've got this extra screen here on the dash that you don't know it needs so you can just press the button it will drop it into the dash and all you have is you've got the navigation and everything you need right in the cluster before your eyes exactly like the Lamborghini Huracan even the rev counter looks similar to the one that I see in the Huracan it's just un unbelievable the way that Audi shared this MMI technology with the Lamborghini Huracan is spot on that's what you want but then in saying that you look at a Lamborghini Huracan it's a $350,000 car nearly $400,000 and then you get the same sort of technology in a car that's worth $110,000 I favor that and I think that's awesome and that's what we all want something where you feel like you're in a car that's even better the steering wheel is very similar to the one that you find in a Huracan same sort of shape and the same one that you find in an Audi R8 which is a rather cool taste that's really cool with this car overall Audi have done an impeccable job and now it's time to see how well the BMW M2 stands up to this. Jumping into the BMW M2, I can straight away tell you that the steering feels a lot stiffer. The suspension is definitely a lot stiffer. Everything seems sturdier in this car where it's not so much it's a very stiff suspension you can actually feel all the road and the road noise you can hear all that as well so okay this car is automatically different it feels a bit more sportier so it feels like something you can have more fun in kick out the tail because it's a rear wheel drive car compared to the quattro system the all wheel drive found in the audi rs3 the steering wheel in this car is a lot thicker than the one found in the audi rs3 you can say everything feels a lot sportier in this car that's what this is the comfort levels are also insane these seats hug you a bit more so you sit more into these seats where the RS3 you're sitting on top of the seats, so they feel a bit more lush you know something that you find in more of a uh, European type of Italian sort of leather seat where with this it's a similar seat that you find in every other BMW if it's an optional car with some of the sports seats so it's not the same seats as you find in the BMW M4 but overall this car here does sound a lot better it does sound better it's louder definitely louder more pops and crackles it's a six cylinder turbocharged motor the other one's a five cylinder turbocharged as well but this overall has a really really good feel to it I like the feel, I like it, I like it. It's a very comfy car, it's a car that you can use all the time. And the looks, did I say anything about the looks? But the looks in the BMW M2 are pretty, pretty impeccable. I like the looks. I think the Audi doesn't look as good as the BMW M2. The M2 has got more of that flair to it. So you've got the flared guards and, and it's just got a sense of occasion when you drive this car. So you can use it as a weekender if you get bored. Off the lights. Okay, yeah, see the car sounds better, it's louder. It's 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 still quick, it's quick enough. 4.1 seconds, 0 to 100. The Audi RS3, 3.8 seconds, tad quicker. This has 375 horsepower. The Audi RS3 has 400 horsepower, so a bit more power there. This does have more torque. We're talking about 20 newton meters, not like you're gonna feel it much. And this I like both cars it's a really hard decision to make if you had to choose between the two this might be better around the track but to drive on the roads and the streets and a daily usability and comfort the Audi RS3 has something on top of this car it's a tad better in terms of being that daily commuter the car with a bit more speed straight line speed this might be better around the track you may have more fun with this car so it's more noise how happy car and I think it's quicker around the track so the track times are pretty quick in this thing quicker than the RS3 overall it's a very hard decision to make I wouldn't be able to make the decision that either car is good let's put it that, that, that way 
Now you've heard the sound, so we've done the sound comparisons, which exhaust system sounds better, which car looks better, and you can be a judge for yourself, but me, when it comes down to making the decision right now, I just can't do it. I'd say both are really cool cars. What's even cooler? 